guys, welcome back to another video from the Innovators. In today's video, we are making the circuit of an automatic coffee stirring machine on Thinkercad. We'll be showing the final circuit and the demonstration of the stirring machine to show that our virtual interference is 100% true or not. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Let's get started. For this project, we'll be using four major components, which are Arduino, two push buttons, some 1 kilo ohm resistors, and a servo motor. So after you have logged into the Thinkercad, you will see its web page interface. From left side, select circuit. Another interface will open where select create new circuit. After that, go to component section and search Arduino. Drag Arduino into the workplace. Then search push button and drag two push buttons onto the workplace. Search for the servo motor and drag it to the workplace. Finally, search for the resistors and place two resistors on the workplace. You can change the value of the resistors by the dialog box which will be available on the right side of the screen after clicking on the resistor which is present on the workplace. Let's move towards the circuit building. Firstly, connect any one terminal of the first push button to the 5 volts pin of the Arduino. And short this wire with any pin of the second push button. We have used the for loop for rotating the servo at 180 degrees and we have taken the delay of 10 milliseconds 
speed can be changed if we increase or decrease the value of the delay. Now for the final implementation. Copy the code and paste it on the Thinkercad code window. Before simulation, recheck all the connections whether they are proper or not. Then press the simulation button to start functioning of the project. During the simulation, first our servo motor is placed at rest. And then click start button. It will start the process and if we want to stop that process, we need to click on the stop button for about half a second. It will stop the functioning of the process. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Also join us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. See you guys in the next video shortly. Bye bye. Stay safe. Peace out.